My princess. The news of what your medicine has done in the lives of my people has reached my mother, the queen, and she demands your presence. I am at her honor. Thank you. Excuse me. Mother, here he comes. Greetings, my queen. You're welcome. Can you excuse me? Yes, my queen. Young man, what are you called? Nkema Konam. From where? From this kingdom, my queen. Only the said you are from Amakoba. I and my father lived at Amakoba after we were chased out of this community because my father was accused of conspiring with the king of Ago Kingdom to kill the noble king of Iyi Kingdom. Trying to make me believe your Nchedo's son. Would you respect my queen? I am. Because of our land. Remove your clothes. Let me see your back. Back. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they are back. Welcome home, son. Thank you, my queen. How is it, Shadow? Talk to me. He died years ago. His father was a good man and your father's best friend from childhood. 
when he was accused by Ono of planning to kill my father-in-law, no one believed his story. Your father tried to stand for him, but his father stopped him. They have long left the kingdom before the truth was discovered. We tried searching for them, but we could not find them. We really tried. Hmm. <sighs> Ponchedo. <sighs> it's a pity. <sighs> yes, my daughter is truly a pity. is no more alive. For us to see this thing, this neck bead has always been on Ija's neck. I think I agree with you, my brother. Hey! This is CJ's neck bead. And it is obvious that EJ is no more for us to find this bead inside the forest. No! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hi. Where did you say you got this bead? Who's that? That was where I found it. And you searched everywhere and there's no trace of EJ. We searched everywhere, we can't find her. Hey! Oh, come on, sweet Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Oh, come on, sweet Oh, come on, sweet No! No, it's not me. Huh? Are you okay? Hola. Mother. Who have you chosen among those men? Hey, boom, brother. 
The sunset has come. The hour for the Iroko tree to fall has come. Tell the gods to hit the Ikoro now. The chiefs should gather before the hour is late. Oledo, present the man whom your heart has chosen to be your husband before sundown. Here he comes. Is the one my heart has chosen to be my husband and my king. His name is Nkema Konam. He's a seer and a great healer from this kingdom. Well, young man, prepare. Mili di ni gwe lwe, hi ya, he gu mbe de. Amo ma di ni gwe lwe, hi ya, he gu mbe de. Mili di ni gwe lwe, hi ya, he gu mbe de. Come back here. What are you up to? What have come over you? Mother, is the one my heart accepted. Excuse me. Inke? 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 <gasps> Inke? Inke? Inke, can you just listen to me? Just listen to what I have to say. Indeed, it was not planned for. But I know my father, the king, will be very grateful and will rest in peace to know that the son of his best friend is the one sitting on his throne. Would you respect my princess? Sitting on the throne of the kingdom is not my problem. My problem is what I feel as a man. You just wanted to marry me, not because you love me, but because you want to maintain your status as the queen of this kingdom. You want to tie me down in this village to help some cruel people who labeled my father a murderer and sent him on an exile. Tell me, are you that desperate? Desperate? I'm not desperate. I didn't choose you to maintain my status. I choose you because... I love you. I love you. I swear by the gods of this land, I love you. Yes. I love you from the very first day I set my eyes on you. You love me. And you don't care if I feel the same way for you. Look into my eyes. And tell me that you do not feel anything for me.
to be with, with his ancestors. He is the chosen one. Lolo! Send message across to Onou and all the elders of this kingdom. They know what to do. Where are you coming from? Um, um, nine. Oh. EJ has been missing since yesterday. So I and my friends will set out to look for her. But unfortunately, we could not find her anywhere. Hmm. So you left this house since morning, leaving what we are supposed to do just because EJ is missing. Tell me, how much were you paid for that assignment that made you to abandon what you're supposed to do that would have fetched you something substantial? Tell me. Nani, does you mean you don't have any atom of sympathy in you? Is this what you have to say in a situation like this? Situation my foot. What situation has Ojugo faced that nobody has faced before? Is EJ the first person to get missing in this community? Tell me. So why should this family now go to bed on empty belly? Just because EJ is missing. Come on, get inside and get me something to eat. Foolish boy. Nani kega Ah ah. Kega 
I'm not mad at you. I'm not going to you. I'm going to get inside. Stupid boy. How'd you go? Hmm. This is just the beginning. Bitter days ahead. <laughs> Oh no! Lord, why? My good people of the kingdom. Oh no! This is a very important day in the life of our kingdom. That a new king is about being coronated. As it is customary in the kingdom, commoners are not permitted to be present where a new king is being crowned. So by the powers bestowed on me, as the only who of this kingdom, I shall start the process of crowning. Oh no. By the powers bestowed on me, I don't know who of his kingdom. I have crown you to be the king of this kingdom. He got Chaim Bosieke. He got Chaim Bosori. He got Chaim Bosieke. He got Chaim Bosieke. <laughs> this is the ancestral staff of the kingdom. This staff was authority for everything that ruled the in the days of our ancestors. And I give it to you. Your fault. Task. Eje mire. Eje mire. My princess, Olin, am I queen? This is your new one. No, 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 no. So, Nietzsche. Oh, no. No, no, I am the royal family. I am now present to you, the new king and queen of the kingdom. Igwe Nkemakonamu Nalolo. Stand. Igwe. Igwe.
Your Royal Highness, you going to my corner? What brought you this night? Since the Wakaka joined the abode of his uh, ancestors, <clears throat> and you are now crown king of this kingdom. Greater responsibilities have been placed on you. Every kingdom is a kingdom blessed with abundant human and natural resources. And that has become a source of envy and jealousy, especially among uh, neighboring communities. You see, <clears throat> I'm talking about people from Agu Kingdom. Agu and EU Kingdoms have been perpetual enemies over the years. Irreconcilable to the extent that even the parcel of land that is known as Ndeba, we agreed to share it among ourselves. Rotationally, so that annually this community will farm, the other one, the other kingdom will farm. Last year, they were the ones that cultivated that land. But to my surprise, a few days ago, I understood that <clears throat> they went back again to farm there, even though they cultivated the land last year. As you can see, they're looking for a trouble. Have you seen it? Those idiots. They've started their trouble again. Yes, my princess. Lolo. Excuse me. Oh no. Go ahead. They claim that uh, because of the war that, that uh, broke out between E and Agu Kingdom last year, they lost a lot of their uh, farm products. Therefore, they have to farm this year in the land to recover their losses of last year. Never! Not while I am still the king of this kingdom will that happen. Never. Not while I am still on this throne, it will never happen. Oh no, my king. I want you to send words to their king immediately. I will want to meet with their king in two days' time at the boundary for a peace talk. But if he refuses to comply, if he refuses to let things be the way it should, I swear by the gods, I will give him war. Because I will not sit on this throne and watch him trample on the right of my people. Never. Mbanu, the rat does not eat what belongs to the owner while he's awake. You are right, my princess. Huh? You are right. Oh no, your majesty. I want you to tell the town crier he should announce. No indigenous of this community should go into that land again. For now. Your Majesty. Who summon me? Igwe Iripo, Ogidiga, Miri Lady, what of Agu for a peace talk? What an insult! What an insult! Don't you have fear? Oh, in fact, what do you know about the land in question? Huh? Ogidiga. I shall pretend I did not hear all you said to me. But I just want to tell you, the next time you talk to me in such an insulting manner, regardless of the crown on my head and the great people of your kingdom which I represent, I shall treat you like a child. You know, I have heard you are a very stubborn and troublesome king. And believe you me, I am ready for you. Very ready. <sighs> I just wanted to remind you that your people cultivated on that land last famine season. And it is my turn, the turn of my people to cultivate on that Shut land. Shut up your mouth! 
stupid? Who is this man? Huh? Are you a mad person? Are you not aware that your people destroyed everything we cultivated on that land last family season? And you dare stand here to say rubbish? Can you listen to this fool? Well, I have not come here to exchange words with foolish people. I only came here to educate you and your father. Your lousy father. To educate your ignorance. But if you fail to take back your steps, you will feel how poisonous my venom could be. Yes. You know, I... I will act like I didn't hear anything. Sincerely, I didn't hear anything. Because as far as I'm concerned, a befitting prince like me don't have anything to do with a commoner like you. Yes. A total commoner. Let me even ask you, how did you stumble onto this kingship you're claiming? Are you as a royal blood? No, I am a bastard. And if you talk to me raising your cursed fingers towards my face again, I'm at your house, strike you this time. And he's also scared. He's mad. The fool is not scared. You said I'm at your house, do what? What did you just say? Eh? You should have told me you came for a fight, young man. You should have intimated me on your plan. That you actually want. You should have told me. You were him for a fight. My son, my son, I can't. No, you should have told me you came for a fight so that I get prepared for you. You're very foolish. Very, very foolish. Mother, I am very, very confused. I'm still confused. That man I saw today, I mean, the king of that Iji kingdom, is a true replica of EJ. There's no difference. There's no difference between the man I saw today and EJ. The way he walks, the way he talks, his carriage, I mean, Absolutely everything. It's so impeccable. I can't just understand. Uh, except for the fact that he's a man and also a king. But exception of that, that young man looks like EJ. Yes. Your father mentioned it. Though, people look alike. M Mother, no, this is not a looking alike thing. I wish you were there. Ki will anya give follow. Awele. Awele, what is it? Hmm? Oh, not you. Awele. Uh, Awele, listen, okay, I, I understand, okay? I, I feel for you, but this is sincerely not the time for this, okay? Uh, come off this mood. Awele, stop, 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 stop. Stop it, stop crying, okay? Stop, stop it. <laughs> You don't understand. EJ was my good friend. <laughs> she was nice. She was brave. She was strong. I know. EJ, EJ, EJ was nice to me also. I, I miss EJ as well, okay? But stop crying, okay? 
before that we were so close. Awele, don't worry, don't worry. Hmm? It's okay, Awele, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. I made your favorite me. My lord. My king. The women and the youths are gathered at the village square celebrating your victory over the people of Agu Kingdom. I'm very proud of you. I'm happy. And I'm sure my father will be very happy wherever I live. What you saw today is little of what I can do. Very little of what I, Igwe Nkema Konam, can do. Hmm. The Lion of E Kingdom. Onye Jemon. Wonke Marama. You have spoken. My darling, the king, I'm proud of you. Now, come and eat. Idipogidiga is a wicked king that can do anything to destroy the kingdom. He is not a man of empty words. Get your warriors set. Because from the look of things, war is the only thing that will end this problem. He can strike at any time. Your men should be at alert. And our people should be warned to avoid late nights. Thank you, Lolo. Wisdom you have spoken. I shall get my men ready. If war is what he wants, he will get war. It's okay. Excuse me. Obuluzo. Yes, my king. Why do you always stare at me like a stranger? Sorry, my king. It's just that you look like a girl I have met before in a distant land. Sorry, my king. A girl. Yes, my king. Well, it's a small world and people look alike at times. I want you to gather the warriors here. I need to speak to them at once. Yes, my king. No king has ever dared me. Igbe Idipo, Ogidika, Miri one of Ago. To a fight. That boy is toying with the tail of a lion. And I must tear him to pieces. Son, go and gather some warriors. Go and surround that land. Anybody from any kingdom seen near the place must be beheaded. Slaughter them. Yes. Don't spare any of them. Since they won war. What will I give them? We we'll give them what? Yes, we we'll give them what? Since they run war, what will I give them? Listen, Your Highness. 
No wise man runs after a rat when his house is on fire. Large number of our people die daily of Iba. And look at you, talking about making war. I think you should be concerned on how to find solution to this scourge before it wipes this land. Mind your tongue. Woman, I say, mind your tongue. I will not allow you people to trample on our rights because we are dying of Eba. And, and, and this, this is our turn for the and, cultivation. Oh no, she shut up. Besides, you know that I have tried and I'm still trying to find solution to this element. We are not speaking as if I don't have the interest of our people at heart. Myself, go and do whatever I say you should do. Onoche, stop. Come back here. Onoche, come back here. Onoche. 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 Onoche, what is it? Okay, sit here, sit in there. Sit in there. Onoche! Onoche, Onoche. Onoche. What is it? Your heart? Your heart? Now, Jugo, that was how it happened. I thought Deba has gone. Oh. But it came back and struck with a great force and took away the life of my only beloved son. I'm sorry. Please take her. I would have come, but I have been sick for some time. Please accept my sympathy, oh? It's okay, it's okay. I have already accepted my fate. I blame no one but the death of Ije. Right. If she had been alive today, nothing would have happened to my son. Her death put tears in my eyes every day. I am a man Oh, Yes, you will be fine. Hmm? Sorry, my son. Sorry. Sorry. Your Highness, sincerely speaking, my king, 
There is no improvement. In fact, it is getting worse. And if nothing is done as fast as possible, we might lose him. What? Yes, that is. Mother, Awole, you need to talk to father. Talk to father? Uh, why? What happened? The colleague just told me that he has not eaten anything since last night. Oh, oh and you know what that means? Huh? He's not going to eat what? something, I'll be fine. Okay? Mm. I know okay. he's like that because of me. Mm. He's going to eat something. Awole, come and take care of your brother. Let me go and talk to him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Trying to eat something, okay? I know it's like this because of me. Your Highness, Igwe, do you want to starve yourself to death? Huh? Which man in my condition will have appetite to eat? When all the great medicine men I invited from far and near have all confirmed that Onoche, my son, will not survive hmm. because he is suffering from an incurable disease. Damn. Damn. The heir to the throne. The hope of the continuation of my generation. I wonder what will be the fate of this kingdom if Onoche fails to make it. Mm -mm. will no. <sighs> Don't talk like that, Your Highness. <sighs> Nothing bad will happen to my son. Eh? I have the confidence that the gods of our land will not allow my son to die. Yes. He will not die. Onoche will not die. I hope so. I hope so. I know. Hmm? Now, should I, should I go and make your food ready? Don't bother yourself, I'm not yet hungry. Igwe, you need to eat something. Eh? Okay, tell me, what would I prepare for you? Is it ofora or egusi soup? Do you want some salad soup, Igwe?
Not this is Nollywood big chest here. Thank you for making me a father today. Hi! Egunga, ite silinako. Egunga, ite silinako. Egunga, ite silinako. Egunga, ite silinako. Who am I? The royal bed is always heralded by the gods. Because of our land, the prince of this land is born. Oh, gods of our land, thank you for the newborn baby. Guide, protect him, and bless him. <laughs> oh, Beluso. My king. Who is this young man? Warriors brought him here and said that he's a hunter from Ago Kingdom. Young man, is that true? Yes, you do. Are you aware that your people and my people are bloody enemies and no one from your kingdom comes into this kingdom and leaves alive? I'm sorry. I didn't even know when I crossed the boundary. Just okay, madam. I'm sorry, I'm not going to work. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Unfortunately, I will not forgive you. I will do to you what your people has done to a large number of my people who mistakenly stepped into your kingdom during hunting. You will be gone. I swear by the gods, I shall spill your blood. God, get me my way. I shall offer you as a sacrifice to the gods of this land by sunrise tomorrow. Take him behind the house and tie him.
Run back to your kingdom. Run as fast as your feet can carry you. Because where are you? Is you where will I follow? When the guards of Yi took me to the palace, I was shocked to see somebody that looked like Yi as their new king. Yi Jen came. Oh, when well, he said Yi Jen, Ofu di anya, Ofu di mi, Ofu do, Oko kaba kulo ba Yi Jen. Chalo kwa o, Madoka. You said their king looked like Yi Jen came. Oh, when Sirin came, Madoka na lo lo. The same king. That asked the guard to take me to the backyard and tie me. The same person came out late in the night and asked me to to leave. The king asked you to go. Nya kan di bata wana ndo. Yeah, the job. Na, uno na abo. Go to the palace. Call the queen, the princess, and all the cabinet members in the presence. Tell them to come. That I have a word for them before I join my ancestors. Okay, da. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Also, also, also. I have a confession to make. Would you go? Go. Let it go. EJ is a man and not a woman. Uh -huh. His real name is Nkema Konam. EJ is Ifezu's son. The man that was falsely accused and killed alongside his wife. I saved the boy because of the vision I had that same day Ifezue and his wife were killed. I was behind my heart and suddenly Who are you? So you don't remember me? No. I am Agui, the old man who visited you years ago when your father died and told you about your destiny as a herbalist. Oh, now I remember you. It's been a long time. Welcome. Let me get you a seat. Oh no, I'm in a hurry. I have a message for you. If his way and family are innocent, and the Lord falls from the sun to replace you at old age as a herbalist, so go and save the boy from being killed. A time shall come when many kingdoms will be struck by strange illness. 
the solution, the remedy, will be revealed to only the boy. So go and save him. When I got there, I brought him home and disguised him as a woman to avoid suspicion so that he would be able to accomplish his mission. I hid the truth from him so that he will not go against his people. I told him that, that his parents offended the gods. EJ is alive and presently the king of Iyi Kingdom. I'm sorry. Because I said it! Oduka, Oduka, no, no, no. I said it! That the person I saw was a replica of UJ. I'm sorry. Because he asked me to leave. Landed. I'm sorry. I meant no harm. But I don't know Now, why did he just give us a new to be the king of I suspect he has discovered the truth and seeks revenge. It is obvious that the solution to our problem in this kingdom lies for the sun. But how do we go about it? He has to come back to this kingdom first before anything can be done. Someone must go there and tell him that my health is very bad. That is the only thing that can bring him back. That could be dangerous. It could be dangerous. I'll go. Huh? 
This is the only message that can bring you to power. And good people of Akuki, I am doing this because of the law. I have this. Yes, I did not return. Please tell my father that I love him so much. And I appreciate all he has done for me. My son, may the God of Agoke take you there and take you back. Ancestors guide you. May the gods protect you. Who are you and where are you going to? I'm from this kingdom. Going to shake my trap. Let me see your back. Huh? Show us your back. What are you doing here? To enjoy ZJ flesh and blood. Um, I also want to tell you that Da is dying. She requested that she must see you before she joined her for hey! 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 I have a promise for you. I will ensure you will not leave to tell your people how you came into this land. No, don't do this. I beg you. Hey, shut your silly mouth! Get me your blues off. Bang him up! Obuluzo. My king. Untie him. My king. I said untie him.
Obuluzo. Yes, my king. I am EJ. My king! Um, EJ, what exactly is happening? Huh? I am coming. The bag. Your lips are sworn to silence. Let's go. Let's go. You're a man. You made me believe that you're a woman. <laughs> and you're now married to another woman. EJ. EJ. You know how much I love you. And how much I wish to be your wife. Even when I thought you were a woman, you've forgotten all we shared. You got married to another woman. Lady, how could you? My princess. I am sorry. I never knew my parents were innocent of the crime they were killed for. So I was afraid. I was afraid if I reveal who I am, I might be killed. I'm sorry. Eddie, not when they see you as a kill to this court that was threatening to wipe away the people. It's obvious. You value what you feel for her than what we have. But just know that I love you so much. My whole life belongs to you. I can live with another man so long as you are alive.
You said you wanted to tell us something. But you are silent. Talk to us. We are all ears. That is nothing the eyes will see. I shed blood. Neither will the ear hear anything that will make you stop hearing. So talk to your people. My elders. What I want to say to you now will sound very, very strange. I am not an indigent of this kingdom. I am from Ago Kingdom. My princess, your food is ready. My princess, I said your food is ready. My princess, my princess, get out. Hmm? I said, get out. Aweli, I've not seen you like this. What is it that worries you, makes you cry? 
giving a fish to eat and act aggressive. Why? What happened? Mother, I love him so much. I can't live without him. I can't take any other man as my husband. Who? EJ. EJ. But I love him so much. <laughs> oh no, all is not well. The princess has refused to eat. What? She cried all through the night and even attempted suicide. What? Why? She says she loves EJ. That EJ is the only man she has true feelings for and can take as her husband. <sighs> She says she will kill herself or remain single if EJ did not marry her. Please, uh, I'm begging you, no. Look for a means to send message across to EJ. We need his assistance in this issue. Please. Hey, huh? This is a serious matter. Very, very serious, oh it no. Is a serious matter? Yes. Um. Nichi Ekanemono. It is no longer a secret that I am from Ago Kingdom and now the King of Iye Kingdom. I want you to understand that I did not mean to complicate matters. No. Before I left my fatherland, I already made up my mind that I'm going to live in Iye Kingdom as a native of the kingdom. But recent happenings has made me remember that it is my destiny to unite the two kingdoms. And I cannot stand against my destiny. Ah! So here I am. Here I am. Asking for nothing but peace so that I can effectively and efficiently render my services to the two communities without obstacle. It only calls for reasoning and understanding. Hey! Your Highness, my king, with due respect, you have just spoken abomination. What you have just voiced out is a taboo. Arrow! And I hope our ancestors will not hear this one. <laughs> My king, what you are asking for will not be possible. This is for the fact that the people of Yi and the Ago Kingdom separated a very long time ago and agreed that nothing will ever unite us. We will not have anything in common. Even our ancestors, our forefathers, and even our fathers kept their own side of the agreement. Yes. And this must not be destroyed in our own time. Your Majesty, I was the only who during our castle and our late king, and now the only who know of this kingdom. And uh, an heir that does not stay at home and watch the she goat deliver in his theater. Okay, I don't know, no, no. You were more noble. So, my king, you can see, as you can see, our hands are tied. We cannot concede the fact that we're supposed to uphold the sacred sanctity of the kingdom of Eve. My elders, Hello. I hope I have spoken your mind. You have said it all. Hello, mm. you have spoken well. Who are we to change the agreement our forefathers had with the people of Ago Kingdom? Okay, cool moment. Bad enough. Oh, man, cool moment. 
Well, my elders, I've heard you. You all have spoken well. Then I want you to understand that if this is your stand on this matter, then I am left with no other option than to go back to my fatherland. My killer. Yes. Mm, and that will not be without my beloved, traditionally married queen, Oledu, and my son. My king, must we commit this great sacrilege against our kingdom? I give you only but two market days to reconsider your stand on this matter. Two market days. Igwe. Igwe. No, no, no. My head has living. I love you. I love you too. You are my first love. And my love and emotions for you will never die. Just that uh, I am married. And I do not wish to be an immoral king. You can. Then marry me. I'm sure it's not an abomination for a king to have more than one wife. I don't mind being a second wife, provided you're with me. Okay, I love you, and I can't live without you. My love, I love you too. And I promise you, by the gods, I will marry you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Lolo. I am not doing what I am doing because I think I have an edge over some people. No. But because my hands are tied. From the depth of my heart, I love all you do as much as I love our Willie. I love the two women and I love the two kingdoms and hold them to a high esteem. And I cannot turn my back on any. The only option we have here is to unite the two kingdoms. And the best way to achieve that is getting married to the two princesses. I have to. For peace and unity to reign, I have to. Lolo, please. I don't want you to say this situation as a conspiracy against the throne of the kingdom. 
but this is my destiny before the existence of my father. Excuse me. So tell me, what are your plans? If your people refuse to make peace with my people, then we have no option than to go back to my kingdom. What do you mean, we? Are you not my wife? Or do you expect me to go back to my kingdom without my wife and my son? And how will he? I will marry her. What? Ikemakonam. What really is your mission in my life and in this kingdom? What? I am your husband. I am your helper. I am your king. Olam, what is happening is not my making but the wish of the gods. A mission ordained even before I was born that I will carry out. I love you. I love you very much. And I love Aweli too. But the point remains that Aweli is my first love. And I can't, I cannot turn my back on her. <coughs> if I fail to marry her, I'm afraid she might kill herself. And my father's kingdom will fall. Please, I beg you. I beg you in the name of the gods. This decision will not be too easy for you to accept. But for the sake of peace and love, please. I beg you. Please. Never. Never. I will never allow you to bring another woman into this family. Never. I only ask for peace. I only ask for oneness and unity. Tell me, is that too much of a thing to ask for? What is it that E Kingdom have achieved, which you are afraid of losing if the two kingdoms should come together? Maybe you don't know. Iye Kingdom and Ango Kingdom are brothers. Our ancestral father gave birth to two sons. Aki and Obani. The people of Obani are still living together as one kingdom in peace progressing. But out of greed, jealousy, disunity, the sons of Agiye could not share what their father left for them in peace and they separated and became blood enemies since then. Tell me, how long will this enmity last?
Olam. This is our chance. This is our only chance to bring peace and unity between these two kingdoms. Please, don't say no. I beg you in the name of the gods, don't say no. It's not easy. It's not easy for me to accept the fact that I will have to share my husband with another woman. You don't know how it feels. I do. Please. No price is too much to pay for the sake of love. I'm a daughter of the king and the queen of this kingdom. Yes, no doubt about it. Therefore, I have right over some issues concerning this kingdom in the yes. absence of my husband, the king. Yes, 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 true. The king only demanded for peace. Making war and being enemies to the people of Agu kingdom has never benefited this kingdom. But if you want to remain obstinate about it, then I have no choice. I have to move with my husband. Yes, I've made up my mind to allow the king marry her, Willie. Yes, that is my decision. Excuse me. Imagine living without you. You can get as many wives as you want. As long as you're here with me, I can't live without you. I love you, my wife. I love you very much. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you so much. My people. Joe Fogger. Piche, Ochaya. Oh no. One thing is very clear in this matter. We need this young man. Just as his kingdom, Ago people need him also. Hmm? The implication of outrightly refusing his uh, submissions means that he might decide to do what? To leave us and go back to Ago kingdom. Not only going back alone, but we will go back with his legitimate wife Banana. and son. Banana, no. You're not saying banana. Will you leave them for you? Now, look at the matter. Huh? We might go ahead and crown another king, but how are we sure we will be privileged to select such a, a, a powerful, wise, dynamic king? Huh? I don't want us to take a decision that will make it look as if we are, we are willingly throwing away this rare opportunity given to us by the gods. 
Now look at it from all angles. Who is losing? And for your information, as I'm talking to you now, when I crazy and her daughter, the princess, Oledo, eh? I am no longer on our side. You don't mean it. What? That is the correct position of test now. So, as you can see now, we are sitting on a cake of gunpowder. It is memorable that this event is taking place on this three part way. This is a symbol of peace and unity between Ago and the Yi. Ensure you keep it well to continuously remember this day.